Party of the Year of College. Armin of Entertainment and Youth Portal. Joy Argill of Family Philippines. Thank you very much for your presence. Pretty Abimon of Eventology. Benjamin Bondad of Sash Factor. Of course, Mama H. Tenorio of Passion Bondi. Jonathan and Christian of The Crown Philippines. Of course, Ayel De Leon of For The Philippines. Nolly of OPMB World Bike. Anton and Air of Passion Talk. I'm loving the reactions here. Mikel Fe of Critical Beauty.
Hi everyone, thank you for coming today. Um, I, I didn't memorize this speech, but I wrote it from my heart, so I have to read it from my iPad to all of you. Okay. I'm the National Director for Ms. Grand International Uzbekistan. My name is Olinda Cho. Before I introduce you the candidate that I'm presenting, let me self-introduce myself to you so you can get to know me a little better. I was a singer since I was young. I think I started singing at eight. Um, competitively, 13, I already started singing. I was 100 kilos before. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, that didn't stop me from singing. I still did my thing. I did the Fame Awards. I did the Melbourne Singing Asian Competition. I did Singapore Idol. I came in third. And I went to Sing China and I ended up top four. So um, I just really like to sing. <laughs> so this year, I'm 43 years old. And I'm still, at, still singing. I'm still at it. I really love singing. I'm a singer. I'm a female daughter. I still kiss my parents good night and good morning every single day. Um, music, family, good friends that I choose as my family, and sneakers. That's my life. Everything that I choose to do in life must have purpose and meaning. For what kind of life would I be living if it's a life without purpose or living? I appreciate every day that I get on this earth and I cherish every real connection with people in my life. We each have 24 hours a day and we don't even know how many days are left. So appreciate every single moment. Can I talk about my sneakers? Would you like guys to like to know a little bit more about my sneaker label? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm a sneaker head ever since I was eight. And I own a bespoke custom sneaker label brand, which is E7E. So the thing is, I don't want, it's not about the money. I know, yeah, bespoke sounds expensive, blah, blah, but it's about the art and the essence that we put into creating this piece of work. So it is by invitation only, and the customer also has to go through a vibe check because it's not about the money here, it's not about the money that I want to make, but it's about the person that I'm sending it to that truly appreciates the essence of it, you know. Yeah, so this is what, what I want to do. A, a lot of heart and soul is put into the entire, the entire process. So the essence of my customer, the person who's wearing the shoe, is very important. Yes, I do want to make lots of money. Who doesn't, right? But I want to make more money to make more art. I want to make money so I can have the freedom and the power to make the difference in this world. To make it a better place, a happier place, and a safer place for the next generation and for the people around me. And if I can make a difference, I want to make it in my own way. Be the adult that I needed when I was young. So let me tell you how I, a Singaporean, ended up in Manila as National Director of Miss Uzbekistan. Uh, for Miss Grand International. So Manila is the best of the best, the creme de la creme of the pageantry world. So what better place to prep my candidate? Amalia Shakirova with a team specially chosen and custom for her to make her appearance at Miss Grand International. We are making history here, as this is the first time Miss Grand International has an Uzbekistan representative in the running for this competition. And because of Ms. Grant, three countries have come together, Singapore, Manila, Uzbekistan. And I just want to say to Team Manila, thank you so much. You guys know who you are. And I really thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It could never have happened without you guys here. So thank you so much. So how did we get here today? How did I meet Amalia? I've known her for more than eight years, and I was her ex-boss in a modeling agency that, uh, that was in Singapore. 
So from day one, I saw her passion and her drive and her potential not only as a model, but also as a human being. One of the kindest hearts that I know. She's the kind of person that would wish you happy birthday, not just on your birthday, but every single birthday, consistently, she will remember to wish you happy birthday. So she's not a hello bye bye kind of friend to me. She's someone that shares and shines her light with the people around her. So to be very, very honest with you, this time round, I didn't sign her. I didn't sign her at all. There's no contract between me and her. I did this solely as a friend who wants to see her have a good shot at this competition. I want to see her win and win in life. For I believe she can and truly will make a difference in this world. And I want this win to be entirely hers. I believe she will do well as a candidate representing her country, Uzbekistan, in Miss Grand International. As she is a kind and beautiful human being inside and out. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Miss Grand Uzbekistan, Amalia Shakirova. The world is your oyster. Go get it, girl. with us here today for us to get to know her better. Thank you so much. Hello. Mabuhay. Magandang hapon. Thank you so much, Oli. Really appreciate it. It teared me a little bit outside, to be honest. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming here today. Really appreciate that for joining this grand event. My name is Amalia, and I'm your first ever Miss Grand Uz Bekistan. I was born and raised in a family of three. Very humble, loving, hardworking. My mom, my grandmother, and grandpa. Grandfather, sorry. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I graduated professional college of design and at the age of 13 I started my modeling career. I've traveled so to almost all Asian countries except Vietnam where Ms. Grant is going to be held as well as France, Italy and Germany. I've been in Manila ever since 2015 with my agency, Emergency Manila. They're here today, Miss Slide and Miss May. Thank you so much. Ever since 2015, I've been back and forth to the Philippines, which, one, which I call my second home. I'm confidently Filipina in my heart. Wow. Salamat. Besides modeling and pageantry, Sorry, I forgot to mention, last year I've joined Miss Cosmo World, which were held in Malaysia, where Philippines, Meiji Akulana Cruz, were the winner. 
She's still a winner and I'm very proud to see her bringing Miss Cosmo World here in the Philippines. Stay tuned, it's coming up soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Besides modeling and pageantry, I really enjoy traveling, meeting new people, getting to know new cultures, trying the food. By the way, my favorite food here in the Philippines is sisig, sininga, bolalo, and chicken adobo. Besides that, I also like to sing, dancing, and hopefully I can improve my skills and do it professionally at some point. I'm also an ambassador of NGO organization Amaltiz in Malaysia. My specialty is to work with orphan kids. Uh, when I say working with orphan kids, I don't mean is that we just go there and bring the money. We try to focus on more specifics, which are the health and as well the educational programs where we provide teachers for kids because that's what's important. After the orphanage, in the legal age, the kids which aren't being adopted are going to be by themselves. They have to learn how to survive in the future. I'm also an advocate for Ocean Hero Conservation, which is an NGO organization in Malaysia. It's UNDP program under UN project number 14, Life Below Water. Once again, thank you so much for coming here. I would like to thank Miss Grant International, my Filipino team, my family and friends all over the world, and last but not least, my national director and my good friend, Olinda Cho. Thank you so much, guys. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Leah. Please remain standing because everyone, we will be witnessing such a historic moment for Leah because today she will be sashed and crowned officially as Miss Grand International Uzbekistan. So may I call on Oli to sash and crown Miss Amalia. International and Ollie as well. Join her on stage 
And now we will be preparing for the question and answer portion to get to know our two lovely ladies here on stage. All right, first up for the question is Nolly of, of OPMB Worldwide. Please come up here on front and ask two questions to Amalia or Oli. Oh, yeah. yeah, good afternoon, and uh, by the way, I'm Nolly for OPMB Worldwide, and welcome to the weekend, uh, Miss And a uh, question for Miss Amalia, okay? Uh, I just want to know, what made you decide to have your preparation and training here in the Philippines in the Philippines? Uh, in, in Thank you so much for your question. I've been in the Philippines ever since 2015 with the agency Emergency Manila as a model. But recently, after finishing up in Miss Cosmo World, I was so impatient on coming back to the Philippines because the last, last time I've been here, it's, it was 2020 at the pandemic. And ever since then, I haven't been here. And you know, I followed my heart. I got back here just like very last minute. I wrote to my agency. I was saying, hey, can I come back here, please? I want to go back here. I miss Manila. So when I returned here as a model, uh, I was already here when the last, very last moment that, you know, it happened for me to be a Miss Grand Uzbekistan with the help of Linda, my Filipino team. So why not to be here? Because Philippines, known as one of the best countries to provide trainings, to train the queens, queen makers. Philippines is one of the best countries for queen makers. Yes, yeah, follow up question. Um, do you think uh, you can make a difference when you get there in Vietnam for the Miss Grand International Yes, of course. Because I have, no matter where the girl trains, or no matter who trains the girl, it's still up to us, our personality, and how we deliver our performance. Thank very, you. Very well said. Thank you, and best of luck to you, Miss Amalia. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Jesson from Sasha's End Scripts. Um, hi, Mia. Hello. Uh, just uh, before I ask my, uh, my, my question, can uh, we get more details about your age height? Uh, vital statistics and what, uh, whatever you want to, uh, to share with us. With your My novels. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if, if you're, you're uh -huh. on the way. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm 5'9 tall. Uh, if you don't mind, I can say it in centimeters. <laughs> okay, we don't mind. Sorry. Uh, my first area is <laughs> 3 centimeters. My waistline is 63, if I remember correctly, and my hips area would be 90, 91. Okay, um, I asked... My shoe size is 38. <laughs> <laughs> I asked this because uh, Miss Grant is a very physical kind of, you know, uh, uh, competition. So um, I want to know if... Um, uh, what are your preparations in terms of the physical aspect as well as the uh, presentation aspect for the competition? Uh, I will go to the gym very soon. <laughs> I'm not a very sporty person to be honest, but I believe that I would need some tonic ups on my body. So I'll work on that part. But besides that, of course, uh, not only because of the pageantry, because the modeling industry, I've been always trying to maintain my body, but I'm very lucky when it comes to my genetic because my family members, especially my dad, he's very skinny, so I'm lucky to inherit my dad's genetics. And um, for my second question, um, can you introduce Uzbekistan more to us? Because we're not very uh, much aware about the culture, about um, the the country uh, so that we have like an understanding of where you, where you came from. Sure, of course, I would love to. 
It's my country is Uzbekistan. <laughs> uh, we are uh, our people are very humble, very hardworking, very warm. We are a little bit like Filipinos. So if you go there, the cultures would be pretty much alike. Although we speak two languages, which is Uzbek, which more towards Turkish, the soundings, the grammar, and Russian. Like here, you speak Tagalog and English. We speak Uzbek and Russian. We were part of USSR before, and on the September 1, 1991, we became independent by our first president, Islam Karimov. We have four seasons, so we have, like, unlike here, it's always summer or rains. We have four seasons, and in each the season, three months. So, three months of each season. My favorite would be summer. That is one of the whys I'm here in the Philippines, because it's tropical, it's sunny. Uh, I love our food. I wish I would be eating it right now, but sorry, I'm here. I have to talk to you. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> we have a lot of food. Our food is a mixture of a lot of differences, like, you know, Asian, we have Russian, we have Ukrainians. My favorite, of course, would be more towards Asia, which is uh, rice dishes. We have plov. That's our main, main famous dish. Plov is a mixture of rice, vegetables, meat. Oh my God. Goto <laughs> mako. Uh, we have samosa, but we call it samsa, which made out uh, of the pastry. And then inside we have pumpkin. We have either pumpkin, either potatoes or meat. We have different nationalities in my country. The main would be Uzbeks, then Kazakh, we have Russians, Ukrainians, Koreans, even our own Koreans, which were migrated uh, long ago because of the war, but now they are our local Koreans. Some of them can't even speak Korean, but they can speak Uzbek and Russian. Thank you so much. I hope I didn't bore you all. <laughs> Thank you very much. And up next, we have Christian from the Crown Philippines. And a reminder to our media, you can also address your questions to our national director, Miss Oli, as well as to Hi, I'm Lia. I'm, no, I'm Christian from the Crown Philippines. Uh, my question for now is for uh, Lia. Um, so, the Philippines do not only have the best trainers, pageant trainers in the world, but we also have the best creatives and designers. So my question is, will you also be um, incorporating any of the Filipino designs or wearing any Filipino designers uh, in the pageant? Thank you so much for your question. Yes. I would be cooperating with creative, I, uh, creatives here in the Philippines. I absolutely agree with you. You guys have a lot of talented people, not just the beauty queen makers, you also have a lot of good photographers. My friends are here as well, Rob Leong and Jumigo, who is a video maker as well. Um, you have a lot, a lot of talented people, as well as in singing, designers. So yes, answering your question, I would be uh, um, making my gowns, making my OTDs with uh, Filipino makers, designers. And by the way, I have a stylist, Patrick, Sir Patrick. He's also Filipino. He'll be the one styling me. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate and up next, we have Jay Barbo of Pageant Trend. Please ask your question to either Lia or Ali. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jay from Pageant Trend. And my first question is um, for Lia. Alia. Alia, um, how is it like uh, the people in Uzbekistan? Sorry, could you? How is it like? Uh, uh, the people in uh, Uzbekistan, in your country. You mean, how are we? What? Yeah. 
Yeah. Sorry, I don't really understand the question. I'm sorry. Like uh, here in the Philippines, we are hospitable when it comes to um, what it? Um, entertaining the visitors. So how is it in Uzbekistan? Thank you. Sorry. Sorry once again. Our people are alike Filipinos, as I as I mentioned before. I think our cultures and our hearts are kind of alike. So it's that's why it's very easier. It's easier for me to adapt in here. Every time uh, we have foreigners or someone who is lost, like here in the Philippines, you would go and help. You will try to help and do your best. It's this. It's pretty much similar. What's happening here is in my country when it comes to people. We are very hospital. If you go, warm. If you go to the houses of your friends or even random people, they will welcome you with a long table with lots of food. They will make make sure that you won't leave the house with your stomach empty, and they will make sure that you know. Sometimes you have to like not even being left with an empty stomach, but you will feel like very very full that you want to sleep already. <laughs> So yeah, we're very warm, we're very welcoming, perhaps I would like if my Filipino friends can make and come, make it and come to my country one day. So you as well, please come and visit us. Sure, later on. <laughs> no, don't charot, don't charot, come and visit us. No jokes. I have my passport already. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank and, uh, you. And my uh, second question is for the national director. Could you please tell us what's the major reason why did you choose Alia as uh, the representative for uh, Uzbekistan for the upcoming Miss Grand International? I mean, look at her. That's all I have to say. Thank you. And that's just on the surface. Inside is another warm, kind human being. So just based on looks alone, yes. no need to say anything. Thank you. Thank you so much and best of luck and congratulations mm. in advance. Thank you and no charot, come and visit, <laughs> huh? Yes. All right, thank you, Jay. Next we have Pao Camiano from TikTok. Hi, this is Hello. Pao I just wanted to know, Alia, how was your preparation so far for this upcoming Miss Grand International on October? Thank you so much for your question. I won't lie or sugarcoat here. Uh, it's quite tense. Intense, sorry, yeah. It's quite intense because the, you know, I'm not very experienced in the pageantry. There are a lot of uh, timelines which have to be matched. And, you know, when you're not too experienced and you haven't been trained so well beforehand, it's quite challenging, but I love challenges and knowingly that I have my team behind me, they got full support, they got all what I need, all the preparation part, technical part, and as well I have my national director besides me, all the way from Singapore 24-7, keeping in touch. I have my family, I have my friends, so I'm sure it can be done as long as I work hard on it. Thank you. And also, can you please give us a sample your introduction in a grand way? I'm Miss Grand Uz Becky Stan! Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much, Pao. Next up, we have Miss Katrina Eugenio from Mars Friends. Hello! Hello. Um, my question will be for the national director. So my question is, you are a Singaporean and your candidate is from Uzbekistan. Yes. And you are here in the Philippines. So could you tell us the story about it? Well, I, as I mentioned in my speech earlier, I've known Amalia for eight, eight years. And she used to be a model in a company, a modeling agency that I own in Singapore. And I've always seen her passion and her drive in, and tenacity in this, this business. So when she told me about this, she said, do you think I should? I said, you should. Of course you should. Look at Miss Cosmo. You went there with no team and you finish up first runner up. So 
she, uh, she told me about Miss Grand International. I said, you go for it, let's go for it. I'll back you as a friend, I believe in you, and I think you can do it. So as long as, you know, she's sure and she, you, you, she looks ahead and aims, she will get it. I believe that much in her. That's why I didn't even sign her. Just based on friendship alone, Amalia, I believe in you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a bond that's so rare in pageantry and we can really see how warm you are towards each other. And on that note, we would also like to call on Miss Edge Tenoria of Pageantology 101. <laughs> I search for your uh, 2014, uh, one of the kind of contestants during Singaporean Idol. No, 2004. Oh my god, I'm supposed to <laughs> I wish, I wish 2004. Right. Hi, I'm an ear, so Hello, beautiful. Oh my god. Salamat. No, what is the back? Anyway, uh, I learned that in your country, the only car brand is Chevrolet. Can you tell us more about it? It's not that, thank you for your question, it's a very good observation, but we, we do have other cars as well. It's just that the main one would be Chevrolet, as you mentioned, because we are in a close contact with the company. So we do provide the, I mean, we produce the cars. And our government would like us to support local productions. I'm so sorry, I'm incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, who's your favorite Miss Grand International winner? I believe that the current Miss Grand International, Isabella Menin, is very capotega and she's very like sexy. She has the presence, she has the height. I also like Samantha even though she did not make it to the international crown, but she would still be... Samantha Bernardo? Yes, of course, both. 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, 20 first started off in the Philippines. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. And last question. Uh, can you give us three fat facts or interesting, interesting facts about you? I am very Makulit. <laughs> what, English? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's very noisy, very yeah, bubbly. Very good. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, correct. Check. Yeah. Pagganarn. Uh, next question. Uh, what's your favorite pageant queen? Who's your favorite Number two would be, I'm very driven and compassion of what I'm doing. Oh my god. Another one. I'm gonna be, I could not be serious when I come to you. <laughs> Another fun fact. Interesting fun fact. Interesting what? Interesting. Everything is interesting, interesting about me. Ganorn. <laughs> 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 I'm very makulit, you know, that's like number one, two, three, I can cover it all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's your love life? Uh, Someone special? I love everything and everyone. <laughs> I love everything I do. Ah, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. I am very interested in your country. Please do come. I yeah. would personally like to show you around. Do you have to provide visa from the Philippines to Uzbekistan? Yes. Um, maybe so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Mama Ed. Next up, we have Adam from Hey Adam G. Grabe, we are loving the Makulet and Filipina energy from Leah right over here. Thank you. Hello there. Um, Hello. 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 My name is Adam. Uh, I have a question for each one of you to the national director first. Uh, you said earlier you, to the national Miss Molinda. Yes. 
Yes, you said earlier that uh, you are some sort of a high profile celebrity because you joined Singap Singapore. Singapore Idol, Idol. like American yeah, so Idol. From, from music to how did your interest begin from, from, <laughs> from the world of music to pageantry? To pageantry? Yes. Well, um, I was a singer first, right? Then after that, I had an artist management agency and a modeling agency. So from there, that's how I met Mia as a friend. And then we, we built on the friendship for so many years, even though she's flying back and forth. Sometimes she comes to Singapore, she's not even in my agency, but we still hang out because we still have friendship there. It's not always just about business. So you're acting yeah. as her mentor, her, her mentor? I never sign her, I'm just a old, old, older friend in life that sometimes I go to her for advice when it comes to the younger people and sometimes may she I, comes to me for advice. May I answer your question? Yes. I will share the very honest story. So I was here in Manila for my modeling contract and uh, in a while I was like, I want to join another pageant. I got this passion and to be honest in my country we don't have pageants like there are no franchises we're just starting up with uh, face of Asia if I'm not mistaken that is owner is from Korea it's a Korean pageant but it's more towards modeling and of course Miss Gran is uh, the one who is I believe more suitable for my personality so I was here in Manila and I was like, I want to join another pageant. I so want to do it. And at my age, it's not much time left. If it's not now, when? Yeah, like the one of the beauty queens say. So I was sitting and I was thinking about it. And then at the same time, because we still keep in touch with Olinda, although I'm not her model anymore, and I was talking to her and I was sharing with her, you know, Oli, what do you think about it? She's like, why not? And I was saying like, okay, but like, how do I do that? Like, because there's no franchise. So how does it would work for me? Then we, uh, Alinda was going to Thailand and I was like, shall we just like, you know, contact organization ourselves? Shall we meet up with them? So that's how it happened. Like we went, she was going to Thailand, I went there. And then we approached the organization, they gave the licensee, and I got appointed. Because in many pageants, you have to win in your country first. So that's the challenging part. Can like, I say, say, say something? Like yes. for me, I always believe that if there's a will, there's a way. And I believe in supporting the underdog. I was the underdog once. So if I can, I will pass it on. So the young, please pay it forward when you win, okay? Not if, when you win. You win. <laughs> Another question for Miss Amalia. Now that I'm glad that you mentioned that you're going to Miss Grand International, how do you plan to stand out in a sea of fears, you know, fears, Latinas, and gorgeous girls around the world? Because let's face it, Especially Miss Grant, when you talk about Miss Grant International, it's all about being extra on stage. So, how do you plan? How are you making your strategy as really as now for your upcoming competition? With my personality, with my appearance, I can get noticed first. That's my plan. And later on, I can move on on working hard to improve every aspect which I have to work on. I'm already starting that ever since yesterday. And of course, I know what you mean by saying Latinas. Yes. Let's face it. But I have a little bit of both. I can pass as Latina, I can be an Asian. So to me, it's a privilege. Thank you. All right, thank you and best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adam, and I'm now calling on Drew Francisco for your question. My question is for you. 
Amalia. So you mentioned earlier that you've been to a lot of Asian countries but not Vietnam. So what are you most excited about going to Vietnam and competing in this trip? Firstly, I'm excited to meet the whole Miss Grand family and getting to know each and every one, all the contestants. About Vietnam, I've been trying on their food, their pot soups. It's always food. I love to eat. <laughs> I've been trying pot soup here in the Philippines, in other Asian countries as well, and I'm looking forward to try aesthetic pot soup, as well as the coffee, coconut coffee and coffee. I heard that's good and famous in Vietnam. They have a lot of beautiful celebrations. Unfortunately, in this timeline, I won't happen to meet these timelines, but they have beautiful festival, lunar, ca lunar calendar festival. They have beautiful Christmas, sorry, New Year's Eve as well. And of course, I would like to see the memorials, all the famous architecture. I've heard they have a... Um, Museum of the War, so that's the one I would like to visit because it's also part of the campaign of Miss Grand, Stop the War and Violence, so that would be actually helpful for me to get more knowledge regarding the Vietnamese war because that's the museum. Also, they have a beautiful clear water and not very... Uh, I don't really remember how the place called but they are famous for the beautiful and clear water. It's a beautiful nature city in Vietnam. I would love to go there, but of course, if when I win Miss Grand, I will be giving interviews, so perhaps next time, next visit to Vietnam. There's always a next time. And another question. Miss Grand is known for a very fabulous uh, preliminary and grand show. So if you could pick only one, swimsuit or evening gown? Which I would pick? Yes. Just one. I would wear a very sexy evening gown and underneath I would put a swimsuit. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Love it. Thank you very much. And I'm now calling on Oyel from For the Philippines for your Mabuhay, welcome to Miss Grand Uzbekistan. So I'm Will from Port of Philippines. Uh, my question is, aside from being a goddess, what else can you offer to Miss Grand International organization that will make you a top contender? Thank you so much for your question. I can o I can offer me, full me, my personality, my compassion, me working hard, me being ambitious, and trying to grow each moment and each day. Okay, um, follow-up question. So, you mentioned earlier that your team is from the Philippines, and aside from Sir Patrick, can you mention some things that will help you through of course, I can mention, but I would like to keep a little bit of a secret for the future. I like to surprise. I have uh, my national director, which is Singaporean, Olinda. I have my beautiful makeup artist, Miss Creasy, my hairstylist, Jay, Ma France, my road manager, France. I have Tita Lavinia. I'm sure she doesn't need an introduction. And the rest of the team, I would like to keep it as a secret. Okay. But I have my agency who are also helping me out. Miss May, Miss 
Third line, I have Jumigo, my videographer, Rob Leon, photographer, and I have Rod Miguel as well in my team. Thank you so much. Okay, you, Amadeus, team, thank you so much. Oh, no! Pag ganon, maraming ang salamat po! Samtahat! Plus 500. All right, next up we have Benjamin Bonnet from Sash Factor. Oh, I'm becoming. <laughs> same, same. Hello, Amalia. Hello, Miss Chu. I am Benjamin from Sash Factor International. My question is for Amalia. How pageants are popular to your country? Thank you for your question. Uh, we do not have franchises for pageants. It's just we starting up now. We have Face of Asia, just very recent. I, I, if I'm not wrong, it was from 2021. Yeah, Face of Asia, and hopefully in the future we will have more and more. Perhaps Miss Grant, maybe, hopefully, not maybe, I'll be opening doors to other girls from my country. What's your guess? Oh, yeah. thank you. I love you. Let's keep it this way. <laughs> and for the national director, let me ask you this question. Why? Why? My question is: This is the first time the debut for Miss Uzbekistan, Miss Grand Uzbekistan. Are you going to um, continuously renew the franchise for Uzbekistan, or are you? Um, do you think you can, you know, you can acquire another franchise from other pageants? I think, to be very honest with you, this was a passion project. But through this passion project, I've made so many connections with good, good friends here that initially started out as work, but we ended up like family. It's. I think it would be quite irresistible. I, I, I might do it again. I, I have that feeling. And we got nerds. Yeah. We got nerds. Yes. Um, thank you for answering my question. I hope the best for both of you, for Amalia, for you know your pageant. And I hope to have or see a photo of you with the Philippine representative. Yeah. Yeah. For, sure, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much to all of the questions. Before we continue, I would like to remind everyone, especially our media partners, to always tag Amalia's accounts and Miss Grant as well. Whenever you post on social media, let's get that traction. And of course, let's support our Miss Grant as well. Subscribe, tag, hashtag. Yes, every the notification button. <laughs> everything. Everything. Let's do everything for Amalia. All right, up next we have John Ray of Tiara Holland. <laughs> I love the vibe. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hi, my question is for the national director. Hello. Um, you're, you came from the um, music, the arts, yep. and modeling agency. Um, is it difficult now that you're taking the pageantry path? Um, it's challenging. But I'm not afraid because I have Team Manila behind me. I'm not afraid to fall. I know they will catch me. And I know that we are run, running in front, fronting this. We're going to be okay. Um, a follow up question. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans of continuously sending uh, delegates from Uzbekistan? Um, it might be something that I will consider, definitely, because this, this journey has actually forged a lot of good friendships along the way, and we have built a strong team here that I feel that can, this business model can be replicated. But obviously this one is in business because I didn't sign up. But the next time around, yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you very much. There's so many opportunities in Philippines, so Philippines, wait for me, I'll be back. Wow. So, 
You heard it here first from Ollie. All right, up next, Entertainment News Portal, we have Arvin. My first question is for you, Amalea. So, uh, why did you choose Miss Grand over other pageants? Thank you for your question. As I mentioned earlier, we don't have many choice back in my country in terms of the franchises. So when it comes to choosing the pageant, it has to be both ways. You cannot be just the one choosing. So Miss Grand is the one who also provides the franchisee as being appointed. And besides that, you know me. I mentioned that so many times I'm so makulit. <laughs> I think that's what the Miss Grand is looking for. I like to dance, I like to sing, I like to be makulit, I like to perform. So that's perfect for my personality. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then um, my next question is, um, have you talked to Meiji? And then um, how, and what's her reaction when you are joining for, for this event? Thank you so much again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, on the day when I arrived to the Philippines, back to the Philippines, it was quite a few months ago, uh, Meiji was very busy in terms of the preparation for the Miss Cosmo World Philippines. And it just so happened that our, unfortunately, our schedules doesn't match, but I'm so looking forward to catch up with her. And I think that would be amazing for me as well in terms of getting her knowledge, you know, getting her advices. Because I've heard how um, long she's been in pageantry and how experienced she is and how good she is. So I would love to catch up with her very soon, but of course I have to also maintain the schedule that, you know, due limits for the Miss Grand. It's just one month left. I hope to meet her soon, answering your question. And last question, uh, what do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? Gets, go, gets. <laughs> Uh, what do I do for fun? I like dancing, I like singing, I like traveling around, I like water activities such as scuba diving, uh, jet skiing, I like, you know, watching movies when I just want to stay in the house, stay in bed, I like watching movies, I like to watch not just like drama movies, I like something which can be educational as well. I love traveling because for me, traveling is something that opens your perspective, makes you grow and get to know other things which you haven't knew before. And it's different when it comes to just looking at it through the phone or TV, unless seeing with your own eyes. Thank you. And then for our national director, um, just, just uh, like a fun question. Sure. Um, so, uh, so can you share as your skin care? <laughs> <laughs> My skin is very gorgeous. I grab it. How about me? <laughs> oh wow! Well, um, joke, joke. I'm 43. Yeah. Oh, 43. I only drink water. Oh. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. I don't drink alcohol. Oh my God! Cheers. I use. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Well, yes, right? Yeah. So I, I do I do have a daily routine of vitamin C, a lot of hyaluronic acid, um, moisturize, 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 and sunblock. Yeah. Thank you so much. And Thank you. Love. Thank you Thank so you. much. We'll take note of that, Miss Ollie. And now let's keep the ball rolling. Enjoy our guild. Of Hello. Hello, Paul. Yeah. My question is, uh, when we 
winning the crown for Miss Grant, what would you want to do with your platform and your advocacy? I would like to impact as much as I can the, the younger generation to be more knowledgeable regarding the climate changes because I'm being an advocate to Ocean Hero Conservation, which is under UNDP project in Malaysia, but hopefully it will go further and further. Because we have to take care of our earth, our home. We have to clean up the mess. You know, it's sad when I see a lot of garbage thrown around, so I would like to advocate for that for us humans to be more responsible when it comes to damages. I would like to help orphans, which I already do, because I believe that everyone deserves love and support, and they have to learn how to survive in the long run. And of course, working with the Miss Grant platform, we have to work towards peaceful and harmonious world. Thank you. Yes, I have done a few commercials here before. That would be Celetec Demo, San Migla, C2, uh, Celetec, C2, uh, Smart, Telecom. I have done, I have done Nescafe, Beach Care. I would love to, I would love to. I just have to improve my Tagalog. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Joy. Next up, we have Jen from Pageant Talk. Hello, good afternoon, Amalia. My question for you is, how will you promote Uzbekistan to an international stage? That's a very good question. Unfortunately, not many people know much about my country, and I would love people to know more about it by first going international stage, putting Uzbekistan in the grand map of pageantry. Thank you. Secondly, I would like to show through my social platforms more beautiful places, more culture, besides that appearance and TV and all the media wise, I would also like to promote in my part, in my end, by my social platforms. Because not many people know that also Samarkand is one of the cities in Uzbekistan, is a part of road silk before, of silk road before, and now it's being under uh, UNESCO, it's a heritage place which is listed in the UNESCO. So I would like to promote those aspects in the world stage as well as my in my end in my social platforms. Thank you so Thank much. You. And my next question is for the beautiful national director. Thank you. Are we expecting a national? Budget for Miss Grant to speak next year? Next year? Yeah, definitely. I told you the team Manila is so strong. I mean, I'm not just thinking Uz Uzbekistan. There can be any 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 candidate as long as the team is right. We can get it done. Right guys? And if I may continue the answer, I would like and I would love to see another candidate from my country in more and more pageants. And I hope that me being as a first Miss Grand Uzbekistan, it won't just be the last. You are making history, Amalia. You are paving the way for the rest of them to come. But besides in. that, I would like to see other candidates as well. Yeah, yeah. You I are. don't want to be first and the last. I want to see more girls because we have so many beautiful girls as well as here in the Philippines. And I want the world to know our, beautif our beauty. I want everyone to see that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. And next up, we
we have Fruity of Elon from Eventology. We're ready for your questions. I'm a friend of Angela. Hi. Uh, I don't have any question. I'm just so happy to connect you with the best people in Manila. Oh, thank you, Elon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See what happens when friendship happens? A connection, a connection, a connection, a connection. And here we are today. So two friendship. Thank you. We love seeing that moment. And of course, thank you everyone for paving the way for Miss Grand Uzbekistan. And now last, but definitely not the least, we are calling on Ida Lavinia from Titas of Pageantry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I am Tita Lavinia of Tita of Pageantry. My first question is for Oli. This time, Oli, uh, you're used to having like a team. You're used to picking your people. But what has been the most challenging thing in bringing your team and looking for your team in a totally different country? Wow, that's a good question. A lot of it is based on trust and also the vibes. Yeah, and the thing is, I like to work in Ferrari mode. So every time I tell them, Ferrari mode, yeah, not Toyota. And they're like, yeah, we got it. So when they get that, the pace, yeah, then we can, we, we can work together. Right. My next question is for Leah, of course. Um, I think virtual is something that I've asked of you in the past. And my question is, you will be competing with the mighty Latinas. You will be competing with Aniki Demora, someone that we will be sending who's super young, someone who's super spunky, someone that we put our trust and faith in because we have not won Miss Grand. But we are here supporting you. Of course, we just want to know how dedicated you are in making sure that it's not just a representation for Uzbekistan, but this is actually a bid for the crown at Miss Grand International. No matter how amazing your competitors are from the Latin countries and even in your Asian counterparts, how dedicated are you in this? I am ready to face all the challenges I have to be facing, and I'm facing it already, as I mentioned earlier. I'm ready to work on my disadvantages to make it into my advantages. And I believe that uh, each flower doesn't have to compare to another flower because we have our own time, our own advantages. Just have to work harder. Last question. Uh, you're very savvy on social media. We're checking on all of your activities. You seem to um, get like a groove on how it is to campaign on social media. Have you checked your competitors? And can you please give us some names of maybe countries that you're watching out for? I won't lie. <laughs> I do. Uh, I did uh, make some research. Not like I wouldn't really, you know, focus, focus. But of course I did check out pages of the girls, especially from Miss Grant International main page. I would go see, click on the, you know, tags. I would go to profiles. So far I am friends, like we follow each other with few candidates, like Miss uh, Vietnam. We have uh, friendship with me, Miss Czech Republic. And I think each of the girls are really beautiful. It's not just me, but of course it has to be a full package. And that's when everyone will know during the pageant itself. When are you leaving and are you excited? Last night. I am very excited and I'm very honored. I'm very thankful. And I'm looking forward to the Miss Grand International stage and 
meeting everyone. Everyone, I'm leaving on October 4 from Manila, so I'm going directly from here to Vietnam. Thank you, and best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That Thank has been done. it. For our media partners, thank you very much for taking the time and asking some fun and even daring questions to our dear Leah. But of course, I'm not the only one who has anyone to thank today. Leah, this is your moment to thank everyone who has helped you come here today. Thank you so much for once again. Thank you so much everyone. Maraming ang salamat lahat for coming here and making this grand event and thank you so much Miss Grand International, my Filipino team, my uh, friends from all over the world and last but not least Olinda Cho, my national director slash very good friend and now we have some surprise. Oh. Our national director ladies and gentlemen, Olinda Cho.
on the screen and the rest of you know. Okay, okay. We'll do another one. Okay, the, the next song is a very special song to me. Because, um, Leah, this song reminds me so much of you. Every time you walk in the room, you own it. So the next song is um, Maria. Ready, boys? <laughs> 